Hi guys, it's Alicia here from Mystical Moonflower, and today I have a new box to share with you guys. This is from uh, Magical Folk. I was getting their boxes um, back before COVID. <laughs> back before COVID hit. And they stopped making boxes for a while and then they started back up here recently. And one of the boxes that they are doing is Sabbath boxes. So this is their Sabbath series box and this is for Yule. I'm extremely excited about this box and I can't wait to see what we have in here. And um, this, this, this one cost me some money. Um, I believe it was around, with shipping, it was around $140. $42 so about $20 of that was in um, shipping to get it here I'm sorry Luna is like right in y'all's way um, so yeah it's my most expensive witchy uh, box to date but I am hoping and I do believe it's going to be worth every penny so let's get into this guy and see what we have for you from the magical folk all right we have a beautiful box mine is a little dented up but Hopefully everything will be okay inside, but this is Folklore and Fairy Tales by Magical Folk. And then this is what the side looks like. What does that say? Magical Folk Shop at Magical. I think you guys can read that now. So that is their social media site. I don't think there's anything else on the box, no. That is it. But let's see what we have in here. I'm so excited. Oh, look at this. Look at the keys. Okay. Mm, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at all this paperwork. That, and that's another thing that I did like about Magical Folk when I was getting... Oh, and there's a sneak peek. Look at that candy cane. And it smells amazing. But one thing I did like about Magical Folk is that they go into their their paperwork. So you're going to get tons of information. And I absolutely love that. So um, let me look at this real quick. All right. So what they say, it says folklore box items. One of the oldest wintertime celebrations, Yule observes the darkest day of the year and return of the sun. At this magical time, as darkness looms outdoors, we are inspired by the light within. As the sun makes its return, we plant seeds to flourish under its rays. Yule is a time for purification, introspection, celebration, and manifestation. And wrapping the Yule folklore box will renew this childlike delight you once knew. Therein, you will find seasonal fragrances and frequencies that make the most of the Yuletide magic joyously heralds the return of the sun and awakens your inner child awakens your inner child so i'm going to stop there so i don't see what else they have to say because i don't want to be spoiled and we're just going to get into this guy and see what we have okay the first thing i seen is this guy so we have some dried oranges with cloves and star anise another one look how beautiful that is and then we have a adorable little felt goddess creation that is cute <laughs> then we have some yuletide potpourri I, this stuff is just wanting to find it to, to me this year it's so funny but Let's take a sniff and see what it smells like. Actually, I can smell it through the bag and it smells amazing. So this is what that looks like. Look at all that gorgeousness in there. So we have that. Then we have something big here. Look at this guy. We have a, looks like a very big, it is, it is a huge candle. So this says, Hedgewitch crafted Yule hearth, hand poured, sweet candle, dressed and charged, magical folk apothecary. Look at that. It is two wicks. And it smells. Oh my gosh. 
Mm. It smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell that. I wonder what's it. I don't know what the scents are, but it smells like winter. Oh, I love that. I'm going to leave it open so you guys can see how beautiful it is. Right, and then we have, ooh, we have a crystal. Right, and I, I don't know. I'm afraid, I'm afraid I'll say it if I, I'm not sure what it is. It is beautiful, and it is a nice size chunk. So we have this guy here. And then we have some more bubble wrap. This is beautiful. So we have Sun Child Bath and Body Oil, Gem and Botanical Infused, Solar Magic, Longevity, Happiness, Neroli, Chamomile, Tangerine, and sun, sun, Sunstone Citrine. And look at look at that magic in there. And here's the ingredients. Let's see what it smells like. Okay, this smells amazing. When I opened it, it kind of shot everywhere, but you see, it is nice. And it smells, mm, I can smell the tangerine. And I think that's, I believe that is neroli that I smell, but I really like that. And we have another bubble wrapped item. We have a Yuletide Ritual Salt. It has mistletoe, rosemary, cranberry, hibiscus, birch for prosperity and blessings. Mm. I don't really know. I think. I think I'm just smelling like the mistletoe. It has that earthy, that earthy scent. But look how beautiful that is. So we have a nice big jar of ritual salts. And then we have some floor sweep, which is juniper, cinnamon, chamomile, calendula, rose, clove, allspice, yarrow, oak. And it is for healing, wisdom, and prosperity, cleaning the shadow months stagnant energy. Look at that. That's beautiful. And then you guys seen the little yellow candy cane. Then we have some nice note cards. They put these in um, all their boxes, I believe, because I received some of these when I was getting their... Uh, their last box that they had out so these are handy to have and then we have looks like a muslim tea bag and then we have a yuletide sun child bath tea with rose hips chamomile dandelion root flower renewing hope inspiration and will that's beautiful as well. I love all these herbal things. And then we have a prosperity blessing. And it is high john root, clove, nettle for spell jars, dream sachets, and wishing charms. Fill your heart with warmth and life with magic. So let's see what this smells like. This smells amazing. You guys can look down in there and see all that herby goodness. It smells delicious. Let me have something else in my bubble wrap bag. Ooh, so we have some altar wash. And this is apple cider vinegar, bayberry, blessed, bayberry, blessed thistle, mistletoe, oak. And it's to bless, purify, and protect, honor the release of the darkness and rebirth of the sun. Let's see what it smells like. It um, it smells like apple cider vinegar. And what else was in this? That's pretty much what I'm getting. 
is apple cider vinegar. I have a cup of that every day, but yeah, it smells like apple cider vinegar. And then our next thing is Hedge Witch Crafted Reindeer. Ooh, which is flying bomb. Gem and botanical infused. Let me put this in here. For hedge riding, shape shifting, spirit guidance, trance, and deep meditation. And uh, this is what we have. Coconut wax, organic coconut oil, blend of 20 plus herbs, roots, seeds, botanicals, and resins steeped in avocado oil, essential oils, rosemary, antioxidant extract. So, okay, I gotta get this open. This is what it looks like, and it just smells, smells nice and herby. But look at that. Looking forward to trying that out. So we have some flying bomb. And then, what else do we have? We have a bag full of goodies. Alright, in the little black bag we have Yuletide Sabbat Ritual Oil, and it is Manifest Yuletide Hope, Health, Healing, I'm gonna focus, Cypress, and Bayberry. Let's give it a sniff. This smells good. It smells like Cypress. I like that. So we have this guy. And then we have a golden lemon drop herbal tincture. So it's turmeric, lemon, ashwagandha, ginger. It says ignite universal abundance, uplift moods, and boost energy while maintaining balance and peace. And there is the ingredients. Okay. I just smell the turmeric in it, but I'm not going to take it until I read the, the directions first. And then the other thing in the bag is ooh, Yuletide Sabbath Perfume. Like, let's see. Wait, is it going to go on? <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. It smells like the holidays. I love that. It is Fraser fir, cypress, and cinnamon. So that's why it smells so yummy. And there was a little pine cone in there I just found, which is adorable. And then we have this in a box, which is Yuletide Wax Melts. Spiced gingerbread, protect the spirit of love, laughter, and light. So there's just there were three sitting down in the box and they smell absolutely delicious. There's something there. So we get our cinnamon. It looks like some type of stone, but it's in all three of them. And these you just wanna oh my gosh, you just wanna eat them. Alright, and this is everything for their Yule folklore and fairy tale box but we have tons of paperwork and I'm just gonna go over it really quickly um see what they talk about so the first thing they talk about is the reindeer flying bomb it says the flying bomb embodies the reindeer spirit of longevity wisdom and ancestral honor while clearing anxiety and fear enabling you to take flight in search of healing and enlightenment Apply to pulse or chakra points, being sure to test spot um, for allergic reaction. And it is for hedge riding, calming, protection, wisdom, fire, planet Mars, divine, masculine, courage, rebirth, and purification. Then they talk about the Yuletide Sabbath ritual oil. It says manifest your Yuletide hope, health, and healing. Anoint altar tools, thresholds, or the Yule Log to attract blessings of love, wealth, joy, and peace. Protect the sanctity of your space and those in it during Yule celebrations and in preparation for the coming year. And as Earth, Jupiter, Saturn, blessings, prosperity, luck, love, wealth, and longevity. 
Then we have the Yuletide Altar Wash. It says, Honor the re release of the darkness and rebirth of the sun by washing your altar and tools with the Yuletide Altar Wash, purifying and protecting it. It also charges your altar with fertile energies, strengthening your ability to attract and manifest the season's best. And then it is for purification, fertility, strength, empowerment, wisdom, healing, balance, protection, and hex breaking. Then they have the Yuletide Floor Sweep. And the Yuletide Floor Sweep clears shadow months, stagnant energy, making way for the fertile blessings, healing, and hope born of the sun. Sprinkle throughout the house, let it sit, sweep it up, and bury it in the yard. It is for consecration, purification, healing, wisdom, fertility, longevity, prosperity, protection, and immortality. Then we have the Yule Hearth Dressed Candle. It says the Yule Hearth Candle inspires gratitude, love, and youthful optimism. It can enrich your, enrich your spell work, whether you are making peace with the shadows or planting seeds to be nourished by the sun. And it is a fire, sun, air, Norse lore, harvest, gratitude, generosity, warming, and blessings. Then we have the Yuletide Blessings Wax Melts. It says, fill your home with gingerbread spice, warming scent, and prosperous energy with the Yuletide Blessing Wax. Protect the spirit of love, laughter, and light the wax melts create while attracting prosperity, success, and good fortune for the year to come. It is Mars, Fire, Masculine, Hecate, Artemis, it is warming, wealth, protection, and prosperity. Then we have the Yuletide Ritual Salt. Well aligned with the Divine Feminine, the Yuletide Ritual Salt is excellent for casting a sharing circle during Yule, though it can enrich and sanctify your rituals all season long. This magical blend purifies and protects while drawing positive and while drawing positivity and prosperity. It's for reversals, renewal, rebirth, protection, purification, banishing. It is Mars, Venus, and the Sun. Then we have the Yuletide Prosperity Blessing Spell Herb. Fill your spell jars, dream sachets, and wishing charms with the Yuletide Prosperity Blessing Herbs and manifest the seasons best throughout the year. Attracting good fortune, success, and wealth on all levels, this herbal blend fills your heart with warmth and life with magic. It's the fire, sun, and Mars, protection, luck, success, wealth, warming, and wishes. And then we have the sun child body oil. It says massage the sun child oil onto your skin after your sunrise ritual bath to honor the sun's rebirth in your own. This blend is hydrating, skin healing, rich in antioxidants, and anti-inflammatory anti properties. Spot test for allergic reaction before use. It is for soul, Apollo, Artemis, solar magic, hydrating, happiness, longevity, peace, motivation, and passion. And then we have the sun child bath tea. It says, draw the sun back into your life. Sun child bath tea nourishes, heals, and protects your skin while renewing your hope, inspirations, and will. Make this bath tea a part of your sunrise ritual bath to celebrate and align with the seasonal spirit of rebirth and it is for apollo artemis soul ritual of bath inspiration rebirth and solar magic then we have the yuletide spirit perfume and intention oil it is fraser fir cypress and cinnamon you will emanate and attract prosperity love and vitality when wearing this yuletide spirit perfume and intention oil use sparingly in the hair to add shine and boost growth or dab on plus points to ease headache and uplift mood. It is for rebirth, abundance, transformation, clairvoyance, healing, love, divination, Venus, and Mars. Then we have the Golden Lemon Drop Herbal Remedy. So it is this one here. And it says, um, Golden Lemon Drop Remedy is a blend of turmeric, lemon, ginger, ashwagandha, root, lemon balm tincture with vodka. The recommended dose is five to six drops under the tongue one to two times per day and should be avoided by those who must avoid alcohol or with autoimmune disease, thyroid, thyroid disorder, taking sedatives or pregnant or nursing. Golden lemon drop remedy uplifts moods and boosts energy while maintaining balance and peace. 
optimizing and strengthening the body and supporting the nervous system, the Serbani can improve health in several ways, including digestion, sleep, menstrual complaints, and pain relief. Renew yourself, mind, body, and soul. Reignite your passions, motivation, and will pursue, attract, and manifest universal abundance. This for solar magic, prosperity, will, courage, renewal, renewal and longevity. And then we have the Yule Gifts Charged with Love and Magic for Warm Year Blessing. Blanket stick. Oh, so they're talking about that cute little doll back there. It says, uh, Blanket Stitch Goddess Doll to Tuck in Prayers and Petitions. Dried oranges, oranges with clove and anise potpourri to make a Yuletide simmer pot. Green amethyst crystals to bring joy and the spirit of the Yule to the heart. And blank recipe cards to record favorite Sabbath. So this, this green amethyst, I would have never had guessed that. And let's see. And then they go into the huge folklore on Yule. And it is huge and I'm not going to read it because I will be here forever. Because that took long enough. So they go over. So we have the Blessed Yule Sheet. And then we have spells and rituals to do with all the things that we received. And then. Is that the same thing? No, it is not. I don't know. There's like, there's tons. Like, look at all this. <laughs> look at all this stuff. And again, more into spells and rituals. And then we have Yuletide Energy, Attunement, and Guided Meditation, and Return of the Sun. And again, another sheet on that. And let's see what else. And then we have Yuletide Affirmations, Journal, and Prayer. And... That is everything, which is a ton. I mean, here's everything that I read you guys. If you guys want to, I'll show you these sheets. If you guys want to pause and read them, you can. Uh, this is the second sheet. The third. And then it goes into the folklore and all the rituals and stuff after that so it's a very um i don't know how i describe this box i love it because like, this is the type of stuff that that i do but it goes very much into the folklore of of yule and that's what their sabbath series um like they did a sow on one and then um, they have this one, and then I think they have Imbolc coming up as well. So it, it will definitely take you into the folklore of each um, of each of the Sabbaths. And then I like that it gives you spells and rituals to do if you don't already have some. I mean, I already have some of my own, but it's nice to see some ones that I may not um, that I may not know of or that I don't do. Just just to have to see if I want to start incorporating that into my winter solstice rituals. But I love this box because everything is here. I don't have to go out and buy any of this stuff. I don't have to go out and make it. And I appreciate that. I appreciate a box that is made for the Sabbaths, that has everything you need to celebrate um, the Sabbaths. For me, everything is here except food. So I don't have to go get anything for Yule, even though I I already still have, have things for the winter solstice. But I mean, it's all here. So yes, it is an expensive box, but do I think it's worth, um, it was a hundred, I believe a hundred and twenty bucks. And I think it is because to go out and to make this stuff, it's going to cost, it would cost me more than that to go out and to try to make every single one of these things, um, for the winter solstice or Yule. So I'm extremely happy that I got it. I love everything. Um, I'm still going to give this a try, even though I have a thyroid um, issue. I'm still probably going to try it because I, for myself, I mean, 
I work with herbs and I've been working with herbs since I was in my 20s. I, I don't see really anything that's going to cause a major issue with um, my, my thyroid if I just try it a little bit. But yeah, I, I love it all and I can't wait to get into this stuff and use it. I mean, the floor sweep, the, the bath tea, I will probably um, just use that more for um, probably just like a foot soak or something like that. Uh, the prosperity blessings, I love that. I love that there's high John in there. Um, the salts, I mean, those are the most beautiful salts I think I've ever seen. And it's a huge bottle. And the candle smells amazing. Absolutely amazing. So yeah, I think I think this box is a winner. I am going to go on and get um, the M bulk one. And I'm also getting their, um, their monthly uh, series box. I should I should get the first one this month I believe I believe at the end of December it should come and it's it's studying um, the goddesses right now I believe dark goddesses if I'm if I'm not mistaken but so yeah I really like this box I liked it back when I was first getting it um, or this company I guess I should say because it just they give you so much information and I love when companies go that extra mile to give you to give you all that I know they have workshops and um, they sent a, a link for this box for a workshop even though I haven't looked at it yet they're just I don't know it's like going to a witchy library and it's all there for you you just have to click a button <laughs> so that is what I like and yes I do think this box is worth the price because I could not I cannot go out and get each one of these things and it be under $125 if I was trying to do it myself. It just, it wouldn't happen. Maybe if I already had each one of them on hand, but you got to think of the bottles, the oils, and I mean, I don't want to have a lot of, a lot of this stuff. I, I don't have everything. So no, I, I couldn't make all this, um, for $125 for, for the winter solstice. So I am very pleased and I'm just... I'm amazed. I, for, to me, like, this is probably one of the best, as far as, like, I look at my practice and witchy boxes, this is what my practice looks like. It's not, you know, yes, I get a lot of stuff that has a lot of figurines and things like that, but this is more the longest stuff that, that I do in my practice. So it's very herb based. It's very garden witch based. And, I just, it's perfect and I love it and I hope that you guys enjoyed it but you can um, let me know down below what you thought of this box I know it's not probably gonna be for everybody but for me and for where I'm at in my craft this this is perfect and I could not have asked for a better for a better winter solstice box I mean with the exception of maybe a Yule log coming in it then <laughs> That'd have been the only thing. That, that's the only thing I could think of. Yeah, just throw me a throw me a yule log in there <laughs> next year. <laughs> but no, I think it's perfect, and I love it. And I think Magical Folk did an absolute amazing job putting together this box. And I will definitely be purchasing purchasing the in bulk in bulk box as well. So yeah, I love it. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to end it here. Um, leave your comments down below what you thought of this box. I will leave all their information down below so you guys can go check them out if you want to. Um, their monthly subscription box is um, it's much cheaper than this. It's much cheaper. It's in the I think it's like around thirty dollars, but it, I think it comes to forty dollars with shipping. And again, it's I think that box is going to be right up my alley as well. So. Yeah, this is everything, guys. Um, again, let me know down below what you thought. I love it. I, everything. Perfect. 100% perfect. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Love it. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be my last video before winter solstice. I will have some other ones coming up, but I've already recorded them, so they'll be coming up. But this is my last recording before the winter solstice so I hope you guys have a magical Yule or winter solstice however you celebrate it I hope it's absolutely magical and that you get to spend it doing whatever it is that you want that brings you comfort and happiness and joy and yes 
that's it guys thanks so much for watching and for supporting my channel i appreciate you all so so much and until next time please stay safe and live well happy winter solstice guys bye